A surreal setting here in Larnaca, Cyprus. And there may be perhaps a thousand Ukrainian fans here in the stands. A match moved because of the unrest in Ukraine. An important game for the European-based American players, but it means much more than football for the Ukrainians. It will be one of the smallest crowds the USA have ever played in front of. It hasn't been a solid performance from Jeff Cameron. He's had those solid performances, but actually in the middle of the midfield, remember Panama at Seattle, I, I still think it's interesting. Garmash has got right in behind here. They didn't pick him up. Howard makes a save. Garmash has got another chance. Yamalenko, 1-0 Ukraine. And the USA's experimental defense is found out. And as a center back tandem, look at that. Anyewu and Brooks are too close together. He's on side, in my opinion. That can happen. There's absolutely no reason for John Brooks to be tucked so far over five yards from Laguchi Anyewu. Simple finish for Yarmolenko. Skodetsky again. Rotan with the cross. Into the new Yarmolenko says an offside this time. The USA defenders pushed up and the uh, offside decision That's came. That's another close run though, Ian. Not quite rhyming for the USA in this first half. They've just got to stick in the game, I think, at this period. But there's some lovely ball from Zuzuliov, Yamalenko, and oh, it's nearly an own goal from Monye, where it does go straight to a grateful Tim Howard. But he had to make that interception. So it is tough for a USA side, which has a slightly experimental look about it. Nice, Kleschen, Altidore, this is better. Cameron arriving. Kleschen's waiting in the middle. If he can get to the near post, that was the best yet from the US. Fadetsky, and look at Yarmolenko, who's got behind Castillo far too easily. Suzuli is waiting in the middle. The cross shot whistles across the face. And the US get away with it, but again, positioning question mark. You can hear those conversations going on. Talking, of course, absolutely essential. Timashuk. And the header is going to not be a problem in the end from Zazulia. Alejandro Bedoya. Altidore was strong there. Dempsey lays it off. Here's Kleschen looking to bend one. Decent looking attack and a real chance for the USA. And it's deflected behind in the end. Real opportunity there. Timashuk has to do to the defending. This time it's Ukraine who uh, can't get out. They're being pressed back. Cameron finds across. Altidore! Couldn't keep his header down. And that is the way it's been going for him. That's a great ball in. Josie times his run well. This has to be on target. Jermaine Jones finds a good ball. Dempsey's in behind here. Can he get the little touch? Piatov does enough, just enough. But again, Ukraine were opened up there. Most of the Ukrainian team's going out. Jesus lays it on his debit. He's right through on goal. Can he finish it? Howard stops him once. Can he do it again? He can't. 2-0. Marko Devic gets the goal for Ukraine. The United States pushing the tempo, trying to pressure. But look at the replay right now. You don't see John Brooks on Yebu in the picture at all. Look, he's at... He great has save two attempts Tim at this. Howard oh, makes a great save. But there's nobody back there on the line <laughs> covering there. Not quite there for him, but it's too good a player for it not to happen. Now, Brooks made a mistake there, trying to back header, and look at that. Oh, Howard lost his foot in Yarmolenko. That could have easily embarrassed him. Howard. What quick thinking by this fella. Bedoya with this corner for the USA. And Johansson off the line. Brilliant effort from the youngster. And his job is to cover this back post, but the concentration, the technique, that was perfectly placed brutal truth here nothing here for ghana or portugal or germany to lose any sleep over in this usa display two goals for the ukraine on a night which meant so much to the little knot of fans there who did turn up